Mark Miller and David Cox were missing for Peter Head, with Jim McAnally hoping Rory McAllister can finally find form after a busy period of work off the pitch has affected his fitness. Stenhouse Muir were missing Brian Hodge, who suffered a shoulder injury in last Saturday's defeat at Dunfermline, and player coach Colin McMenamin is suspended after seeing red in the same game. The home side got off to the perfect start, taking the lead after only three minutes. Some good build-up play saw Blue Toon captain Stephen Noble push forward. Jamie Redmond getting his cross in at the second attempt, and Noble guiding the ball high past Greg Fleming to open the scoring. Ross Meehan was unable to block Redmond's cross for a second time, and Noble struck a looping shot on the volley, leaving Fleming with little chance. Peter Head continued to press. Some neat play between Rory McAllister and Jordan Brown almost set up Jamie Stevenson. Scott Ross's free kick on 15 minutes found Jamie Redman. More good play this time between Redman and Stephen Noble. Greg Fleming parrying Redman's shot to safety. The visitors didn't pose much of a threat in the first half. From the corner, Stuart Greken's header was taken by Graham Smith. Meanwhile, the Blue Toon continued to look for a second goal. Stephen Noble's ball forward fell for Jamie Stevenson, but his shot was wide. Midway through the first half and the game was becoming untidy. Gary Oliver with a half chance for the Warriors, but he didn't connect cleanly with the ball. With half-time approaching, the Blue Toon had a couple of great chances to extend their lead. Graham Sharp's ball into the box bounced around before breaking for Jamie Stevenson to have a shot. Fleming's save fell nicely for Sharp, and the Warriors keeper had to pull off another great stop to deny a second goal. Peter Head nearly started the second half as he started the first. Greg Fleming rushing off his line to head the ball to safety and Ryan McCann trying to take advantage with a quick throw. Fleming was able to get back in time to parry Rory McAllister's lob and then save from Jordan Brown's follow-up. Brian Gilfillan's shot was blocked by Kieran Summer with some shouts for handball, but referee Crawford Allen saw no infringement. A dangerous cross from Gary Oliver on 55 minutes saw Graham Smith happy to push the ball out for a corner. The home side had a free kick after Rory McAllister was fouled at the edge of the 18-yard area. It was McAllister himself who then looked to take advantage of the set piece. But the Warriors' wall held firm and the shot was deflected out for a corner. Another great chance for the Blue Toon on the hour mark. Stephen Noble's cross was met by Jamie Redmond's header. Greg Fleming pulling off another great save, tipping the ball over the bar. The home side were continuing to make good chances. Ross Smith this time with some determined play down the right, before setting up the chance for Rhys Donaldson, but he couldn't keep the header down. The visitors kept pressing, looking for opportunities. Tom Walsh with this shot, but it was a comfortable take for Graham Smith. Rory McAllister has had a quiet start to the season and was keen to get on the score sheet. This long-range effort, though, didn't trouble Fleming. The home side were forced to make all three substitutions in the first half because of injuries, and the final ten minutes saw Steny create chances to equalise. Ryan Miller with a good chance from this header. Only a minute later and another chance for the visitors. Martin Green with the shot this time from the edge of the box. The Warriors kept pressing. Kieran Summers was involved again, this time releasing Gary Oliver. 
Scott Ross doing well to deflect the shot out for a corner. One final chance for the blue tune as Stenny pushed men forward to look for the equaliser. Brian Gilfillan's long clearance was chased down by Rory McAllister, who shot wide of the post. So the blue tune hung on to take all three points, and next week is a trip to East End Park to meet Dunfermline.